Hello, my name is William Hartman. I'm the president and CEO of Halberd Corporation, uh, a company that's going to revolutionize medicine and change the world. Uh, I'm sorry for phones. And uh, uh, we put out a press release yesterday. Uh, put out a press release yesterday. Uh, sorry. Sorry for this interruption. Uh, we put out a press release yesterday, Tuesday, uh, on the 23rd of May, uh, that uh, talked about our, uh, our our breakthrough work on traumatic brain injury, and uh, just as a uh, as a, as a support for those who didn't get an opportunity to read our press release or see all the footnotes, in 2019 alone, the CDC did an ec economic forecast of uh, traumatic brain injury and the cost to the country. And their estimate was, not ours, their estimate was $4.2 trillion, including $327 billion in direct medical care, $69 billion in work loss, and $3.8 trillion dollars in quality of life. This is uh, just un, un, unbelievable, uh, unbelievable uh, what the, the, the cost of, uh, of traumatic brain injury is to this country. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to touch on three things today. Of course, uh, our most recent press release of Tuesday, May 23rd, uh, I'm brief, briefly going to touch on the uh, status of the abstract submissions that we've made to uh, RPH. And uh, I've got somebody who's a very persistent individual here. Uh, but uh, uh, the, our submissions to RPH and uh, where that stands. And lastly, we're going to do a peek, just a peek. We're going to draw the curtain back regarding the biggest thing to ever hit Halberd Corporation. The biggest thing. I can't reveal the details, but I'm just going to let our listeners know that we're right around the corner from something extremely big. Okay. Now, on traumatic brain injury, uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, the, for information that uh, I, our scientists uh, indicate that I can reveal, uh, we are uh, uh, we're working with uh, obviously uh, Mississippi State University to do uh, uh, preclinical uh, studies. And uh, for those of you who are, uh, don't understand the word preclinical, that's basically animal studies. And uh, they have completed phase one. Very important phase one, might I add. Phase one is where we. Uh, basically impact the uh, the models, as they say, the models uh, that are part of the uh, experimentation. And you want to induce the type of brain injury that can be monitored subsequently and, uh, and uh, not yet again, not kill the animal. And uh, so the bottom line is uh, they've completed that. And what we'll do in phases two and three, obviously, and they're, they're starting immediately, is we will uh, take a large group of uh, models and uh, induce the brain injury to them. Half of the group will be given our nasal spray. Now, our nasal spray is far different than anything that exists today. It is, uh, it's a patent pending material, three proprietary ingredients that re reduce the swelling and stop the cascade of neurologic events, uh, events that can lead to neurodegenerative diseases. And what we're, we're doing then obviously is observing the, the uh, subjects, the models, and uh, the, the, after they've had the injury, and uh, and then we're going to be administering nasal spray to half of the group, and then we're going to be again observing their behavior, then euthanizing these models, 
and uh, observing which ones pro had progression of neurodegenerative diseases and which ones did not. Our medication, our, our simple nasal spray is a, an extremely, it's a, a breakthrough event. Nothing exists like this in the world. And what, what this will enable is the, uh, the individuals, whether they're military, whether they're contact sports individuals, etc., they can self-administer this spray immediately following a, 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 a head trauma. And, the head, and this will stop the cascade of events that would lead to neurodegenerative diseases. Now, if you follow the... Uh, the CDC data that I referenced earlier, this, this is a $4.2 trillion problem per year in the United States. Just think, uh, the, the rest homes uh, that are filled with, with elderly people who fell. Think of uh, children who have their life cut off short because of they're dropped off of a changing table or they're dropped off they fall downstairs etc cetera, etc cetera. this can save all of that grief this is huge don anyway uh my next subject the uh, uh briefly touch on the status of our abstract submissions we made uh, uh we made a series of submissions to the to DARPA that's the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and we were told hey uh, that's great what you're submitting uh, it's tremendous uh, but uh, we focus on defense issues why don't you contact ARPA H and that is the Advanced Research Projects Agency uh, dash health and we contacted them. They have a budget, by the way, of $2.5 billion. And uh, we have submitted now eight, eight abstracts. And the abstracts, very, very specific, uh, the format that they are to uh, uh, be written in. And we've submitted eight, and we're waiting for a response. Uh, the response they promised was some four to six weeks. I submitted four on April 10th, and uh, uh, we're now at six weeks, so we're expecting some immediate response. Uh, as usual, if they're flooded, it's going to be a little longer, but uh, we expect some very significant uh, response from them. Lastly, the subject I want to broach is um, the biggest thing to ever hit Helberg Corporation. We have we're we're working on a our our extracorporeal methodology combined with an, our patented uh, patent uh, that covers. By the way, we have four patents issued, twenty two pending. We have patent pending and a patent issued, a fully issued patent on uh, on a drug combination. And this drug combination, uh, as well as uh, coordination with our extracorporeal methodology to treat a specific major disease in this country, uh, we have been advised that uh, a significant support level is going to come in uh, for both projects. That's all I can say. I can say no more. But... Uh, just stay tuned. And and I've learned in this business, you wait till you uh, you wait till it actually happens before you announce anything. But we've been told uh, from very reliable sources that uh, uh, this uh, our our prospects look very very good. Um, uh, again, uh, it isn't done until it's done. But uh, Don, uh, our our uh, uh, our methodology to treat disease by treating bodily fluids, thereby eliminating any side effects, uh, is the next uh, level of medicine that will be practiced in this country and in the world. So we're very excited about that. That's it, Don.